Good afternoon. I'm Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and today I'm going to demonstrate some of the products that you can find out of the new annual catalog called Find Your Inspiration that goes live 1 June. The card we're going to make today is going to be this card where we're going to use some of the new in colors and some of the new um, bundle and framelits as well as some of the new products. What you're going to need to make this card are going to be some dapper denim. This is your base card so it needs to be cut at four and a quarter by five by four. Some whisper white cut at five and three and three quarters. You're going to need some of the cardstock flirty flamingo, so saffron, and cucumber crush for our flowers. You're also going to need the inks, dapper denim, and flirty flamingo. So let's get started. We're going to be using the watercolor wash stamp set for our background. We're going to be using the botanical blooms framelits to cut our flowers. The thoughtful banner words and punch to cut out our sentiment. And I went ahead and picked a sentiment from our greatest greetings stamp set. You'll also need a big shot because you're going to be using your framelits from the botanical gardens. But to begin with, you're going to take your cardstock, and this is the stamp set from the watercolor wash. It's very large. It goes on one of the largest acrylic blocks. I chose not to put the background on it simply because it just sticks a lot better on this large block. What I want to do is to create a background that is looks somewhat like washed out denim. And how I did that was I took my stamp and my stamp pad, my dapper denim stamp pad, and I went ahead and I inked up the entire stamp. Once I inked it off, I stamped it off. so that I still had a little bit of ink on my stamp pad. Then I took my, my ink pad and I just very carefully kind of added some color. You can tell how I'm adding the color. Kind of up and down on the edge of my stamp pad. Kind of give it a, you can see how the color because I'm looking kind of for a variegated effect. I then take my cardstock and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to line it up where I want it to be stamped. I'm going to put it down, I'm going to press it, and it's it sticks pretty good on there, so I'm just going to turn it around and then I'm going to press on it. And I get this kind of effect. Okay, looks kind of like washed out denim. So I'm going to go ahead and Oops, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamp. Especially around the edges. 
and I'm going to use my stamping scrap. I'm going to clean off my clean off my stamp. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I I'm going to take my um, my in colors and I'm going to use my framelits and I'm going to go ahead and um, cut them out using my uh, my big shot. Now for the for the benefit of time, I've already cut out my framelits using my Big Shot. And they very easily basically come out from the framelit. For those framelits that do not come out, I take something and I have a little toolbox over here where I have a um, I'll show you this is my little toolbox where I have my scissors and I have a cutting knife but I also have here a stamping piercer from Stamping Up that when you take this off it has a nice little point so this works a lot better than using the the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop out that flower. Pop out that flower. And it has this these little itty bitty little center flowers. And this was you I I stamped out I failed to mention that I used melon mambo for this color. And this is going to go right on top of that flower. And I used this little die set to cut out this little middle that's going to go on top of that flower. And I used this die set, this little die here, to go top of that flower. And then there's one more tiny little, little piece that I used that I think I'm going to use right here on top of that flower. I also used the um, Cucumber Crush to cut out this uh, this leaf. Okay, so now that I have all my um, flowers cut out, you can see all the dyes that I used in the Botanical Blooms bundle. And this is a fantastic set. I mean, there's just some really neat, um, I really like the flowers that it makes with that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my sheet and I'm going to use a tool that um, I believe this is, um, uh, I got this at, at Michael's, but what it does is it kind of roughs up the side, side of your paper. And, and what I want to try to achieve is I, I'm thinking that this is like a piece of denim and I kind of want it to look frayed like denim. So I'm just going to kind of rough that up so that the edges are not smooth but they, they look kind of frayed. You can begin to see how I'm how I'm kind of fraying fraying those edges. And this will really show up against our dapper denim cardstock because that's what I'm trying to that's what I want to achieve. Okay. So once I've done that, I'm going to take a piece of the Dapper Denim Ribbon and I'm going to cut about, oh, let's see. I want a nice knot, but I don't want to waste a lot of product. So 
just going to tie it like this. around my card okay so I've got that tied around my card and I'm going to use this as a way of of separating or kind of giving my card some some uh, some separation some boundaries okay and I'm probably going to cut these off a little shorter, but right now I'm just going to kind of leave them right there because what I want to do is I want to figure out how I want to lay my flowers down. And in my card, I only use two flowers. In this card, I may want to use three flowers or maybe I kind of like just having two flowers, kind of like this flower. Um, I do need to go back and I need to cut a piece of um, melon mambo for the middle of my flower. So let me let me pause and go do that right now. Okay, so went back, cut my melon mambo piece for my flower, taking it out of the die now. So there it is. And that's what I'm going to use to put on my flower. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, just use just use two flowers. Okay? So how I put my flowers together is I take some of my mini glue dots right here and I peel my, my paper back so where I can see the little, the little glue dot right there. And I'll take my first piece that goes down and I basically just press that right in the middle of the glue dot. I then take an X-Acto blade and I lift, go underneath and I lift that up and on the bottom will be the little glue dot on the bottom of that piece and I'll just go ahead and I'll lay it in the middle of my of my card and I often use a tool like this to to position the middle. Let's go. There we go. To position the middle, and then I press. Puts a little indentation. You can see the little indentation it puts there, but it makes sure that it's it is definitely um, adhered. I then take my next little piece, and it's this little yellow piece here. Again, I'm going to go back to my strip of glue dots, and I'm going to put that in the middle of my next glue dot. I'm going to pick it up with the edge of my blade. Okay, hear it kind of pop off. I'm going to put that in the middle of my flower and I'm going to press it down. There we go. So it's definitely on my flower. Okay, so now I'm going to take my other flower and my melon mambo little piece that I've forgotten to, uh, to cut. I'm going to set, put that on the mini glue dot. I'm going to take my blade. I'm going to lift it up. There it is. You can see the little glue dot back there. 
I'm going to lay it right in the middle where I want it. Okay. Take my little round tool, and I think these are actually this is actually a tool that um, uh, nail techs use, but I find it very handy. And I might crimp, I might crimp my my petals a little, just kind of pinch them in, give them a little dimension there. Okay, so you can see that's looking good. And I rather like uh, having just the center yellow, so I'm going to cut these spikes off this this center one very carefully. Just going to go around and make sure it's kind of trimmed. Okay. And now I'm going to pick it up, find another little glue dot, and lay that right on top of that, top of that glue dot. Pick it up with my X-Acto knife and lay it in the center of my flower. Use my little nail tool here to kind of. There you go, kind of punch because it's got a nice little indentation there. And I'm going to do the same for that. Maybe while I'm doing that, I'm going to kind of bring some of these petals up. And I'm just going to gently kind of bring them up and um, just kind of, kind of bend them with my nail. Kind of crimp them with my fingernail there so they've got a little bit of There we go, a little bit of dimension. Okay, so um, I'm now going to put them on my card, but the next thing I want to do is figure out where I'm going to put my, my sentiment. And I'm using the, um, the punch from the, this, from the Thoughtful Banners. This is a bundle. So I went ahead and I punched out uh, my shape. And I'm going to pick a sentiment that says, yay you, I'm going to put it on my block. Um, I'm going to, before I do that, I've got to pull out my, my banner border. And I'm going to use Memento Black Ink. And since this is a photopolymer stamp, you're going to be able to, um, to see it really well through the stamp so you can get it right on your... There you go. Perfect right on your thing. Clean my stamp. Um, Take my yay you, make sure I got it right side up. Do a couple of tests, just make sure I've got the right amount of ink, right amount of pressure. I think I'm gonna go this way. There you go, yay you. Clean up my stamp. Go ahead and put my put my stamp back in there. And because when you when you um, punch these, you get two usually. If you want this one, right, it's down on the bottom. So I take that extra one that I get every time, and I just set it in there just in case I need it for the next time around. That way I don't have to cut it. I've already got a spare one in there and I don't waste my paper. Okay, so now I have my Yay You 
and I'm going to cover up my Memento ink and I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I'm almost pretty much done with this sheet but I use every single dimension every every piece of the product that I can so I'm going to go ahead and um, put my dimensionals on the back of my flowers and on the back of my my border or my um, my banner sorry put that on the back of my ba banner now I'm going to go ahead and snip just a kind of a tiny skinny piece from the end I'm going to put that in the middle because what I'm going to do with this which is my which is my leaf is I'm going to kind of cut this into three different um, sections and I'm going to put a section the top section of this when I take my dimensional off I'm going to just stick that right on the corner of that right there can you see that and then that's ready to go down then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to take off I'm going to take off this and I'm going to take this one and just kind of stick it right there you can kind of see so now and I'm going to trim this looks I'm going to just kind of trim that a little there okay so I'm going to put this flower right about here okay and then I'm going to put this flower right over here you can see there's just a little bit of green peeking out kind of roll my ribbon up then I'm going to take my other piece of green and I'll take off my my uh, dimensional backing I'm just going to stick this right there so it kind of shows okay kind of gives that kind of look and I'm going to put that right there yay you okay so there we go got the top of our card and what I'm going to do is to go ahead and put this on my card and I'm going to tie my bow Okay. Now, this bow is a little bit it's a little bit long. I don't know if you can you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it at a, at a angle just so it's a little bit a little bit shorter. Can you see that? Okay. And then I'm going to use this product called Enamel Accents. And when it dries, it turns into, it looks like a pearl, only it will be black. And I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to put this right, right where that divot was that I made with that tool. I'm going to put a little dab there and a little dab there. 
And let me clean that off. I'm just going to clean off this thing. It's called um, enamel, enamel accents. And that's what it did. It just gave it just a little bit of um, black in the middle of our flower. There's our card. Here's our other card. Okay. Not bad. Yay you. Good job. Um, have fun making this card. I think it's a lot of fun. I really like that dapper denim. Kind of gives it a really nice, nice feel. Pops with that flamingo, um, flirty flamingo color. And the um, botanical bundles really make some really, really cute, uh, some cute um, nice flowers. If you like this video, please uh, please like it and subscribe, and please uh, share a comment. And um, um, happy stamping, and thank you for watching.